Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing on this uh, fine Sunday morning here? Um, well, guys, this is going to be part three. This is part three for me on my lockback knives that Williams Knife Life started uh, yesterday with show us your smaller lockbacks. Then it shot to the mediums. Then we went to large. Um, these are pretty much the last of them. Um, now, quite funny, just uh, you might get a little chuckle out of this. I found two more uh, little lockbacks. <laughs> I found two more and I probably got more guys, but I can't, um, I didn't put them up because that's not this video. We're already done with the small and medium, um, lockbacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly, yes, quickly go through these lockbacks that I have here because we're already at time is already ticking. And, um, so we're going to show you these lockbacks that I have. And again, lockbacks are just fantastic and um i thank you william for doing this little tag video it kept me very much occupied i can guarantee that right now um i spent a good portion of my weekend up here in the uh bedroom just uh putzing around so it really really occupied my time um and i know that there's still knives lockbacks that i have in there that i that i couldn't find or that i didn't show i just know it um the the one little one yes the one little one that i just found uh was right under my nose it was right there i was like oh, where'd this come from and it was a pretty cool lockback but i can't show it right now anyway let's move on this guy here I'm going to have trouble dancing around this camera today, guys. You are going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Excuse me. This happens to be one of my favorite uh, lockbacks. Um, this is um, my Remington. This is my Remington lockback large. Okay, here's the lockback right there. And, um, well, I guess I'll just say it on every one. I love this knife. Uh, this one I really, really have a fond liking for because check that blade out. Just look at the profile of that thing. Is that not, I mean, this is what makes you appreciate the love for cutlery. This is what makes you appreciate getting roped into the hobby. Okay, this is what hooks you. Stuff like this, pieces like this um will hook you this is it definitely does for me because look at this beautiful beautiful blade i've never seen a blade like this you got a beautiful long pull i love long pulls i just love them love them love them um it makes the blade look so much better it's so much more attractive you've got like this kind of compound grind blade here and it is just beautiful. I love it. It's speaking to me. I can talk about this knife for the rest of the whole video right now. Um, you move down the, uh, you got like this Delrin. This is Delrin. Um, it's like Delrin jig, uh, but I love it. It's the way they used to do that old school uh, Delrin. And this is an older piece, guys. Um, it's... Well, it says 92 on it, 1992. So I guess that's the year, huh? <laughs> um, I haven't had this one out in quite, quite some time because it has been buried. Um, this one was pretty far down. So uh, I had to do some digging for this one, William. So I hope you really appreciate this, buddy. <laughs> Just kidding, William. But I do hope you appreciate it. Lock back right here. Beautiful action on it. Uh, let's see if we could. Just fantastic action, right? So, and and you know, guys, 
without rushing, if there's any pieces that you want to see again, I can show you later on. So just keep that in mind. This one is the lightweight Buck 110. And guys, it's light as a feather. It's light as a feather. It locks up tight. Um, and for $20, you could get this for. It's a $20 bill. And for what reason you wouldn't pick one up for, I wouldn't understand. But for a $20 bill, you don't feel this thing in your pocket. It's super big, super ergonomic in your hand. You get this grip. It's real grippy. Um... It's just plastic, but it's just, it's just, just fine. Blade is your typical uh, 110 blade. Just fantastic. Again, you're looking at a $20 bill, guys. Let's move on. Buttery smooth. Action on it. Great, great. Okay. We're getting into the good stuff now, guys. <clears throat> I've had this piece for years. This is my beloved 110. This is my beloved 110. And everybody has a 110 in their collection, you know what I mean? If you don't have a 110 in your collection, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, everybody has one. You should have one. You should have one. They are great knives. They are, this is history. Um, Everybody back in the day, this is where it started. This is where it originated from. Everybody carried a buck 110 on their hip. This was the knife. This was the this was the only knife people carried back back in the day. Not too far back in the day, but this was the main knife that most men carried on their hip. This was their go-to knife, the buck 110. And for good reason. It's very, very well built. It's heavy duty. Um, you got this lock back here. The action on it is superb. Um, it gets real sharp. The blade's beautiful. And look at it. I mean, it's it's an iconic, it's an iconic piece. Uh, people collect these, uh, different years and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna move on. You guys know if you were with my channel for any given time that this is my favorite knife of in the collection. Uh, this was my father's. My father uh, gave, gifted this to me. Um, I just look at it and it's just memories. But you got this uh, beautiful. I've never seen a knife quite like this. This is my Camillus uh, lockback. And till today, I still don't have a knife. I still do not have a knife in my collection that measures up to this one. Um, the fit and finish is impeccable. The wood is just beautiful. The clip blade, this clip blade, I've never seen a clip blade like this as long as I lived and put eyes on cutlery, never. This clip blade, this clip blade is the best clip blade that I've ever, me, I've ever seen in my life. Performance, action, in the hand. Um, what more can I say about this knife? I've spoke of it many, many times. And um, it's just, uh, it's just my favorite piece. My, my favorite piece by hands, hands down in my collection. And I'm glad... I can't, I can't say how glad I am, uh, that I have it, and, uh, I, let's move on, thank you, so that's that one there, that's the Camillus lock back, what else we got here, guys, man, we got a lot to go, we're getting in some of the moderns, though, look at that midway lock back, you got this Spyderco, Santa Fonte, and this is a fantastic, fantastic piece, guys. Um, I don't know what to say about the Santa Fonte. It's super light, ergonomically. Uh, you got a clip on the back here. Everything that you would expect out of a Spider Co. But this one's just a little bit more special. I mean, it's a Delica killer. If you guys like the Delica, this is just a step up, man. A step up. 
this is the um, this is the Santa Fonte. So it says it right right there. That's a Santa Fonte by Spiderco. Highly, highly recommend this guy. It's it's like an eighty dollar an eighty dollar piece. And if you don't have a Santa Fonte, oh man, I don't know why you don't. Uh, I'm trying to move along, guys. Time slipping. This will tell you uh, quickly without getting all crazy. This will tell you how long I have been into the hobby. This is about a 25 year old knife. This is a Bear Gorilla's knife when he first was big and popular and came out and all that stuff. And he came out with all his knives and stuff. And you guys know Bear Gorillas. Um, and you know something? This knife. This knife, you're going to laugh and say, oh, yeah, when it came out, it was junk and all that other stuff. This knife is not bad at all. It's not a bad knife. You got a deep pocket clip here. And whoever said, here's your, um, your lock back up here. Whoever said, whoever made the rule up that, um, that serrations were such a bad thing on knives. That's what I want to know. I want to touch on that. Who in their right mind said that serrations is just so bad on pocket knives? Why? I think that they're awesome. I think that if you have any heavy cutting chores to do or it's, it's meant for specific tasks, yes. But that's a bonus. That's a plus to me to have them serrations on a knife. If you need to cut like we all say, rope and all that other stuff, this will destroy rope, amongst other things. Um, it's not bad having serrations on your knives. We frown upon it. I, I, I totally disagree. Uh, I, I completely, completely disagree. Um, I'm going to go out on my own on that one there. And, um, well, my daddy told me... Uh, don't be a follower, be a leader. And I'm going to take the lead role on this one. Serrations are fine. There's nothing wrong with serrations at all, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so don't think you can't buy a knife just because it has serrations on it. But anyway, this is the Bear Gorillas uh, lockback. And this will tell you how long I've been into the hobby. Because this knife here is about 25 years old. So, I mean, you're looking at a lot of years buying knives, man. With that piece there what are we looking at this one here is a fantastic i mean it, it this is a home run i bet you haven't seen this one before this is an outdoor edge and what makes this one special is you got these rubber handles which are fantastic but it's this blade it is this blade look at this blade have you ever seen a cool blade like that before I love this blade every time I break this out I'm like man that blade is just they gotta put that blade on other knives man because it's so cool you got the lock back back here this is a rubberized handles and it's just a cool cool knife for like 25 bucks you got the clip here um just a home run of a knife for for me, for me, it's a it's a great piece. So here goes a good one. Uh, it's, this is my Boker. This is my Boker. Um, and guys, it's a fantastic piece. It's an older piece. It's discontinued, locked back. Uh, but I'm just glad to have it in my collection, my Boker collection, because these Bokers. Um, they're getting very hard to find the true Sologen Bokers, you know, Sologen Germany Bokers. When you get the Tang stamp and you read the Tang right there, see where that says Sologen at? That's what you want to see, ladies and gentlemen. That makes it a true German knife. Without seeing that, no, no, no good. But this is the, uh, Boker, um... Lockback. I don't know the exact name of it, but um, it is a fantastic piece. It's a bigger piece, um, but it, nevertheless, it's a fantastic one. It really is a good, a good knife. If you could get around the yellow uh, 
covers, which I don't mind them. I like them. I like bright colors. So that's that. Trying to get done here, guys. The Delica. There's the Delica. Everybody in creation has a Delica, right, guys? Yes, indeedy. I remember when I first got into the hobby. This was one of the first pieces I had to get was a Delica. Uh, you got the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 with that compression lock. And you got this Delica. They were the first two that you got. As soon as you get into the hobby, you automatically go to Spyderco's first, right? And then you move on from there. You get into that Spyderco phase for a while, and then that fades out, and then you get into, you know, you get into other stuff. But it's always Spyderco first. And uh, so that's that. We've got another fantastic piece here. Uh, William's Knife Life speaks of them a lot. And they are fantastic knives. Every one of them. Brother. Brother makes a great... There it is right there. Brother. Brother makes a great knife. And this one happens to be a uh, lockback clip blade. And it's just the most attractive thing. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece to me. You got true carbon fiber on this one through and through. It's, I mean, it's real carbon fiber. I mean, and um, it, it's just a good knife. It, it's a good knife. There's your lock back right there. Action on it, silky smooth. Um, everything you could possibly want in a lock back. And that's the 1507 Brother. This guy here. This is the Rough Rider, and I love this one, man. It's a uh, smooth white bone. You got this. Man, it's a good knife. I'll tell you, it locks up tight. You got this nice. Look at that clip blade they're making on these uh, Rough Riders. Look at that clip, huh? But this is the Rough Rider. Uh, please, guys, I just woke up. I can't read that right now because it's hard to read these numbers. Um, but this is another, another great piece. That's a great little rough rider. Not a little rough rider. It's pretty, I mean, it's probably medium size. But I put it in the bunch, in the large. So that's that. And we're down to the last one. Now, this is a very unique piece. This one's probably going to go in his uh, in the books. You probably, nobody has probably ever seen this one before. This is a USA made buck. You see it right there. USA made buck. And it's an assist buck. Now, okay, it shoots out. You got this beautiful, beautiful blade, right? Um, there's a lot of things going on with this piece, guys. Uh, you got a deep clip here. I got this years and years ago in a hardware store. Uh, about 15 years ago, I got this piece. It's a lockback. You see it right there. And... This is a fantastic piece just to carry. I mean, it's a great knife. Look at it, right? It's a nice, nice buck. It's a nice buck. So you just, the pre, you know, there it is right there. And you put it home. But now when you put it home, it's got this thing here. So you can actually lock it. Now she's locked. She can't, you can't fire it. You put the lock off. And now, I don't want to hit nothing. Now... She comes out like an animal. But really, really nice piece. And I'm happy to handle this one. It's been a long time since I've handled this one. This one's been away for a long time. Uh, so that's the buck. Uh, that's a buck, my buck. And it's a great, great piece. Guys, I'm done. That's all I got for you is today. That's all my uh, lockbacks. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, I got to go figure out what's going on in there. I got to put all this stuff away now. Um, plus the stuff from yesterday. <laughs> but anyway, guys, please drop me a comment. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, shout out to William's Knife Life. He kept me on my toes pretty much all weekend. He really did. He kept me going. And uh, I'm about at the end guys have a fantastic sunday be good be well be safe drop me that comment let me know what you think about these lockbacks and uh 
Yeah, yeah, you know what we do. Keep on moving. All right, guys. Take care.